Hi, Keshu here. Today I'm going to start with a new video series on Azure Databricks with PySpark. As part of this video series, let's get started with the first video on Spark architecture. So uh, before we get started with PySpark, it's important to know the Spark architecture and what are the different components available. All right. So as part of this video series, I'll be doing uh, continuous videos from basic to advanced. I hope this video series will help you out. Please stay tuned to my channel. All right. So as I said, as part of Spark architecture, so these are some major components. Those we should be aware of cluster nodes, driver executors, shared resources, jobs, stages, tasks, slots, course threads along with these components we should know how parallelization will work and also we should be aware of how partitioning will be done all right when you submit an application here application is nothing but user program i would say that it's here a notebook that we submit to the cluster when you submit an application the application will be broken down into jobs jobs are nothing but parallel competition or consist of multiple tasks and jobs will be broken down into stages and stages will have multiple tasks to be performed. So this is the hierarchy that we should be aware of when you submit an application that will be broken down into jobs. Jobs will be broken down into stages. Stages will have multiple tasks to be performed at cluster level. All right. So let's jump on to the next slide where I covered, you know, uh, the major components. Here, the cluster is collection of nodes. The cluster will have driver node and multiple uh, worker nodes uh, each worker node will have executors and driver node is the heart for the cluster when you submit an application I would say that query uh, driver node will assist the work to be done and it will pass on the instructions to the worker nodes to execute the required tasks all right so again driver node will collect the result back from the worker nodes here node is nothing but the physical server a node will have executors. Databricks model has been changed to have to have one executor in each node. One node with one executor is always stable than you know having multiple executors. When you have multiple executors in single node, th those executors will be competing each other on the resources. All right. So as I said, it's always stable to have one node. I mean one executor in one node. All right. So each executor can perform multiple tasks, but how many tasks can be performed is completely depends on the resource available. I would say that number of cores available in each uh, physical node. For example, if you take this node, it can perform four tasks. I would say that driver node has got four slots available from this worker node. So this number of slots available is completely depends on the number of cores, you know, in that specific physical machine. For example, here, this physical machine has got four cores because of that reason it has got four slots available and if you look at this node it has got only three cores so it can take up only three tasks can be performed and this has got five cores so that's why it has got five slots available and this again got four and this has got four and this has got three again so the number of slots available are completely depends on the number of cores available on each node all right here shared resources are nothing but ram disk and network io as i said if more than one executor in each physical node those executors will be competing each other on the shared resources that is ram io and disk so it's always stable to have one node with one executor all right i hope this is clear for you guys so as i said the job of the driver node here is it will assist the application i would say that query that we submit to the cluster and it will pass on the instructions to the uh, worker nodes and also it will collect the output from the worker nodes and submit to the user all right slots i would say that threads and slots and cores are more or less same and how many slots would be available and completely depends on the number of cores and how many threads can be executed are again completely depends on number of cores available all right so this is the high level architecture of cluster and something about nodes in there all right as i said already here if you look at this node it has got four cores that was the reason why this executor has got 
four threads available all right that means it can execute four tasks parallelly so the number of tasks can be performed at each node level are completely depends on the number of cores available all right so i hope this is clear for you guys it just high level in next video we'll take some scenarios i would say that cases and we'll see how those uh, you know scenarios will work out in the cluster so thanks for watching this video we'll meet again in the next week until then bye bye thank you